So it's another morning in the hotel. Today it should be cooler. We're more ready for mosquitoes. We got ravaged yesterday. Me too. Just not as bad. It's just, it's pretty bad. Okay, so we're here at Benson Rio State Park, something, something like that. Um, this is where Elf Owl is seen in this hole, in this pole. But it's like seen at sunset most of the time. I think the chance that we're gonna see it is very low. Unfortunately. And there's a ton of burgers here. And they're kind of cranky. Like, we met this guy, this lone guy who was like, not cranky, but really annoying. And then this other group of people who were super cranky. And then the annoying guy was bothering them and then they were getting all mad. Okay, so we just finished up the hawk watching. It was... What do you think? It was good. We're on a tower looking for hawks. And there were really good people there who were park volunteers doing all the spotting and ID for us. Yeah, I feel like I knew nothing and then they were just like, this is this. There's this here. Look here. Yeah, the but one... they're so hard to see. So there was one guy in the corner doing most of the work. He says, I threw the scope for the entire time. And he was pointing out crazy stuff like Osprey in the corner, Caspian Turn coming out of the river, like laughing gold or something like that. Yeah. In addition to counting every single turkey vulture and black vulture one by one. Yeah, and then I saw this hawk, but they didn't know what it was. They thought it might be short tailed hawk, which would be the first sighting in two years. And the guy said, to go home and review carefully and email him if that's the case. Which is kind of a pain. There's gonna be a few things we have to go home and review. Like the plovers that I took photos of. The golden. The baby. Yeah. Okay. What are they called? Black Melly. Black Melly. Mustard Golden Baby. Mm. American Golden Clover. <laughs> So we're here on a random dirt road. It's uh, kind of hot. Tristan was just sprinting after some fly catcher. Um, I'm taking off some layers since it's a bit hot. And there aren't any mosquitoes here, luckily. All right, so we're here at um, Sal Nino, something preserve, nature preserve, which is not publicly owned. And it's right on the border Again. Um, what is that? It is. Okay. Yeah, so we just had a fight about some Pyroloxia thing where Tristan chased it away and I was really mad. And uh, now we're looking for red billed pigeon and. What's it called? More let's see. Yes. All right, so the day is winding down a bit. We left the river a while ago. I see this bank. Really? That would be a lifer. Anyway, <laughs> so we left the river a while ago. We came to this park in Zapata called Bravo Park. And while we were at the river, we met two nice people who told us to look for this rare bird there. We went there, we saw it. And basically we're we're wrapping it up for the day. Um, the sun sets in two hours, so we're gonna take it pretty chill. We're at this like... We're at this like boat launch ramp in this lake. And honestly, we're not looking for anything. We're just gonna have fun. And that's a first. Okay, so we're here eating. 
Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh my god, that was spicy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so this is chicken fried steak, a Texas specialty. Go ahead and cut it. It's like fried chicken, but it's steak. It's like <laughs> beef instead of chicken. That doesn't look like beef. <laughs> really? Does it? I it can't does. Tell. It does, I think. We also have whatever's in here. And a fajita. Wait. I'm guessing it's just tortilla. It's just what? It's just tortilla. Go in the middle. Okay, so we're currently on some some part of the west border of Texas and Mexico, I think. And there's like an inspection station. It's like 10 p.m. There's so many trucks. I really have no idea what's going on. Wait, we're not even on the border. What are they doing? What is happening? What? Okay.